Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we are in quarantine right now here in my house and I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same situation. So I usually, when I film my YouTube videos, I have um, my assistant who does all the camera work, all the editing. So obviously I'm not letting anyone into my home. So I'm trying to do this on my own. So my son who is behind the camera is helping me today film this video. So be very kind with the editing and all these things because I have to try to do this now on my own. But so the video today is going to be a baking video because that's what I've been doing the last two weeks. I've been loving to bake. That's really been my outlet. Um, and I wanted to share this particular cake with you guys, which my mother used to make all the time in Austria. And it's called Erdbeer Biscuit Rolle in German. It's a sponge cake, which you roll up and then you fill it with uh, whipped cream and strawberries. And it's so easy. It's so good. And I think it's a pretty light cake. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you how to make this cake. All right, guys, so for the ingredients, what you're going to need is four eggs, three tablespoons of warm water, 110 grams of sugar, which I already measured out up here. Then you're going to need 100 gram of flour, 50 gram of cornstarch, and you're going to need one teaspoon of baking powder. Um, I sifted my baking powder, my cornstarch and my flour through a sifter because it then is like really perfect for baking and it's nice and fine. What you also need is a KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, it's fine. You can use a hand mixer and I have a scale right here. And that's it, let's get started. All right guys, so we are going to put in four eggs. One, two, three, four eggs, and then you need to put in three tablespoons of warm water. One, two, three. And you need 110 grams of sugar, which goes into your mixture. And now I'm going to mix this up for eight minutes. I'm going to put on my timer, eight minutes right here. And I put it to about medium. Okay, after eight minutes, it's done. And look how nice and thick and fluffy the mixture looks. So nice and fluffy. After the eight minutes, the only thing you have to do is add your flour mixture with the cornstarch and the baking powder. And this takes literally five seconds. So you put it on low and then we add our flour mixture and don't over mix. This step is really important. You only just add it. And turn it off. That's it. This step is super, super crucial. You do not want to over mix. All right, guys. So my biscuit teig, my sponge cake uh, batter is done. Now all you really need is a baking sheet and you line it with parchment paper. And now we're gonna put your, the filling or the dough, whatever you wanna call it, onto the parchment paper. And make sure that you get everything out. It feels so fluffy and airy. All right, so make sure that you take all, every single drop out of your Bowl. and then I like to use this little scraper right here and I'm just gonna like even everything out make sure that it's even out all right so this is what it looks like it's going in the oven at 350 
for about 12 to 15 minutes. Just check after 12 minutes and uh, maybe put in a toothpick and see if it's done. But between 12 and 15 minutes, ready to go. All right guys, for the filling, you're gonna need one pint of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of pure vanilla bean paste. And then you're also gonna need 500 grams of strawberries, which I just washed and I'm going to cut right now for you in little pieces. All right, so this is how you make whipped cream. It's so easy. You just pour your whipped cream into your KitchenAid. I just changed my attachment to the whipper. And then I'm gonna also add a little bit of the vanilla bean paste. I'm just eyeing it, I would say about a tablespoon. And then the only, the most crucial part about making whipped cream is you don't want to over whip. So do not walk away while you do this. So you put it on and I would say you whip for about, I don't know, a minute or two. Just keep watching because you don't want it to become butter. So I'm cutting them in little cubes. All right, my whipped cream is done. And this is what it looks like. You want it to be firm, but not too firm. You don't want it obviously to turn into butter. All right, the cake is done. Now what you need is some powdered sugar and a kitchen towel. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that powdered sugar on my kitchen towel because I don't want my cake to stick to the towel. So just, you know, through a sifter, put a little bit of that sugar there. And then we're gonna take the cake, which is right here. Ta-da! And then, we're gonna flip it, whoops, like that. And then you're gonna take off the parchment paper. So this is the little bit of a tricky part. You wanna rip it and then always go towards the end of the cake and just rip the parchment paper off. I'm gonna do the same thing again from here. We'll rip it towards the end of the cake and then we'll do this in steps. Perfect. All right, so we just took off the parchment paper. Now we wanna put on a second dish towel. Make sure that the second dish towel is damp, not wet, but damp. And then we're gonna take a cake grid and we're gonna put that underneath right here. And now we're gonna let the cake cool off for about 15 minutes. All right, so the 15 minutes are over. I'm gonna take away my dish towel, my, my damp dish towel. And I'm also gonna take this rack out. And then I'm going to show you how to assemble this sponge cake. Okay, now you're gonna need your whipped cream, which we've made earlier, and the cut strawberries. And so you start by putting the whipped cream onto your sponge cake. And then we're just gonna cover it. All right, once the whipped cream is on your cake, we are going to take the strawberries. And you just put the strawberries on top. Super, super, super easy. And then you can just press with your fingers and press the strawberries into the whipped cream. All right, so this is the most crucial part about making this cake. We want to roll it up now. So I just take my towel and do the first bend 
and then just press it down. And then we take the towel and then lift it and do another bend. And that's about it. And now we're gonna put this on a cake stand. And now we're gonna take a platter. I'm gonna bring in this nice platter. And now the trick to get it onto the platter is you're gonna fold this part down and then we're gonna lift the cake on top of the platter. And now we wanna get the dish towel And that is it. Right, so the only thing left is putting powdered sugar onto my cake. Now you could put some more whipped cream on here and some more strawberries if you want to, but I feel like there's enough whipped cream in there. Um, I don't wanna make it that rich. So just a little bit of powdered sugar for decoration. And so easy, so super, super simple to make. I cannot wait to cut into this cake and serve it to my family. And that's it. All right, guys, so this is the finished Erdbeerrolle, Biskuitrolle, how we call it in German. So it's a sponge cake, so easy to make. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe, especially right now, it's really a really difficult time for all of us. I know we're all quarantined and all I wanna really say is that baking has brought so much joy to me right now. I've been baking every single day and if you have a neighbor or a friend who needs some help, just make a cake. And I wish you all a lot of strength, lots of love, especially right now in this time we're in. Um, I know it's not easy, but we will get through this. I'm very hopeful. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I see you very soon.